Hello, I'm Lenny Rudo here, back with you again for Boat US Magazine. Today, let's talk about this little device, the cell phone. Now, let me be 100% straight up with you folks. You should never, ever depend on this for navigation. But the truth of the matter is, your cell phone with a navigation app can come in really handy if, say, your chart plotter dies, or when you're on a little boat like this, which is navigated visually and you don't have any electronics. It can be quite helpful, which is why I've preloaded the Sea Pilot app on my phone and another phone here with the Navionics app. The actual navigation is very similar to using a chart plotter. You can pinch to zoom in and out. You can make a waypoint. And you can navigate to it or choose from a number of different options. All right, I'm ready to navigate. Uh-oh. Don't worry, folks. Actually, this is an empty case. I took my cell phone out before I did that because I knew darn well that the biggest problem with navigating via cell phone on a small boat like this is that the phone tends to get dropped, bounce off the deck. Heck, sometimes it even goes over the side. So, navigating with a cell phone on a small boat does require some very real care. Oh, now here's a problem. The sun is blanking out the screen. And this is always an issue when you're using a cell phone in the outdoor environment. So naturally, you just have to sort of turn and shade the screen. But still, this little screen is much tougher to navigate with than a big old chart plotter at the helm, right? Well, here's a tip. This might be a, a common scale I'd use if I was on a boat with a chart plotter in this little creek, but on this tiny little screen, you can barely see it. So zoom in, always be sure to zoom in as close as you can. And that will give you a much better view of your boat and the immediate surroundings. One more thing, folks, when you're running at planing speeds, don't even try and navigate by staring at this tiny little screen. It doesn't work very well. What you really need to do is focus on a point of land far away and keep your eyes out there. If you ever question your course, use your phone to check it once again. And if you're on a larger boat, you should have a compass at the helm. You can glance down at the compass after you get your compass course from the phone. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we hope that you'll go to BoatsUS.com and check out our other videos and articles on the website. And folks, please feel free to let us know if there are any other topics you'd like us to touch on.